Hi everyone, I'm Lauren Sue and in this video I'm going to talk about all Big Mother Truckers games for the Sony PlayStation 2. And yes, the games exist. So Big Mother Truckers sounds funny. And the games, the two games, were intended to be funny. And they would have been great games if they were not so repetitive and boring. In the first one, Ma Jackson wants to retire and promises her property to the trucker that can get the most money. You choose between multiple truckers, you select your truck and go on the road in a wonky fashion. The driving is arcadey and linear, you go where the GPS tells you. And you don't have to be careful how you drive, this is not Euro Truck Simulator or 18 wheels. You don't drive like that in these games. You drive like a big mother trucker, meaning that if you bump into cars they just bounce off and even you even get bonuses for that. But you have to avoid hitting cops and bikers. Bikers steal your cargo if you hit them. They drive near you and jump on your truck on a fast and furious style and steal your stuff. You also get to the bar where you can play slot machines to make more money and will have to talk to the bartender for tips on where your truck jobs are best paid and this, get, and this gets very repetitive I mean you do the same stuff over and over but in different cities go to the bartender for tips then take on jobs and follow the GPS and so on it just repeat you just repeat the process and driving isn't that exciting either it gets even annoying at times you also can race other truckers but that is just frustrating considering what controls you have the wonky controls don't give you any satisfaction when you race but luckily races are optional so you can just decline the offer to race. And aside the story you get also a mission mode where you can do stuff like smash targets on the road. So they tried to make the experience more varied but I don't know something about it makes you get bored easily in the game. And in Big Mother Truckers 2, Truck Me Harder Big Ma Jackson was thrown in jail for tax evasion. You bail her out and then you need to go in multiple cities to bribe judges to prove her innocent. And to bribe someone you need money. So you do lots of truck jobs. And in Mother Trucker 2 you get to drive in other vehicles too for some short missions. But after you've played in another vehicle you get to realize that the bad driving controls from the first game were good compared to the other vehicles in the second one. Other differences that 2 has is that the driving controls are tighter now and better, not as wonky as in the first one, and that the physics and graphics have been improved. Too bad that the games are repetitive and get boring pretty fast. They could have been great games if not for these flaws. So the second game tries even more to be varied, but I don't know, as I said, something about the games makes them boring after some minutes. And it's a shame, because the, the, the game developers really tried, you can see that they tried to make the games varied and enjoyable. They are funny, they are promising on paper, but when you get to play them, you get bored easily in them. Maybe I was expecting too much. Okay, let's hope that they are going to make a Big Mother Truckers 3 and it's gonna blow everyone's minds. Oh, and just because I said that the games are boring, don't get the black and white picture and consider these games bad. They are not bad. They are average games and I dare to say even above average. And also, they have humor, and that is a great plus in the games. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. 
And if you want, follow me on Twitch, Instagram, or Discord. I left the links to those in the video description. Also, if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.